Hey guys, it's Doug McGuff with Ultimate Exercise, Body by Science, and DrMcGuff.com. This week I just wanted to drop a quick, quick recommendation to you to uh, check out the Peter Atia Drive podcast. Um, it's the one with Rick Johnson that says how fructose drives metabolic disease. Thought you guys might find this one really, really interesting. I certainly did. Um, in the podcast, this guy, especially just the first 30 minutes, I think is all you have to listen to to see what I'm talking about, um, is they talk about how fructose is such a huge disruptor of metabolism, how it simultaneously and diabolically lowers the body's overall energy state, while at the same time driving fat storage and inhibiting fat mobilization, and also generating large production of uric acid, which kind of underpins hypertension and the metabolic syndrome. To understand this optimally, it helps to have a roadmap for what human metabolism looks like. And you can look up online uh, different resources, but my favorite resource for this is my book um, that I highly recommend, which is, it's not my book, it was written by J.G. Solway. I got this um, in my freshman year of medical school. It's called Metabolism at a Glance. The whole thing is premised on the idea that human metabolism can be likened to the subway or tube system in London, showing all the interconnections to the different destinations. And inside, um, he depicts all of metabolism in one gigantic diagram. And this is where I got the concept for global metabolic conditioning was being able to have kind of an overarching view of what human metabolism looks like. But I'll hold real still, if you guys could take a screenshot of this page and have it available to you while you listen to this podcast, you can see how this Rube Goldberg mechanism or like a big domino setup can be hugely disrupted by something that is not evolutionarily adapted for. So particular areas on this metabolism that are um, of interest as you listen to this is he speaks a lot of phosphofructokinase, which is an enzyme in glycolysis that occurs fairly early in this process at this level here. Fructose drives up regulation of this enzyme. The production of its byproducts consumes ATP, the currency um, for energy in the cell, and degrades it to AMP, and the adenosine in that stacks up and has to be metabolized as a purine. Well, the end product of purine metabolism is uric acid, which drives gout, hypertension, and metabolic syndrome. Uric acid also inhibits fatty acid oxidation at the level of beta oxidation. Down at this level, he'll make reference to an enzyme called enoyl transferase, and that happens here, which inhibits the metabolism or breakdown of fatty acids. And he discusses also how this low energy state signals for energy storage rather than energy utilization. And in the process, and if you have this to refer to, you can see how fructose diabolically lowers energy currency in the body while simultaneously inhibiting fat utilization and promoting fat storage. At the end of this, I doubt that you'll ever want to have another soft drink in your life. And also it explains to me, I remember seeing the graph of how obesity has gone up in the United States population over the years. And starting in the 1970s, it started to trend upward. But right about 1981, the obesity epidemic takes off on a very, very steep curve. And ironically, this correlates roughly with when high fructose corn syrup hit our food supply. Understanding how fructose interacts with human metabolism and also understanding how industrial seed oils interact with human metabolism and are obesogenic, those two things together, I think very largely explain the explosion of metabolic disease and obesity in this country. So once again, my assignment for you for this week is just give a listen to this with or without the biologic pathways to refer to. I think you'll be really, really impressed. Peter Atia is one of my favorite physician educators in the health, wellness, and longevity space. And I particularly like that this guy can educate you as a physician without taking his shirt off. So 
for Ultimate Exercise, drmcguff.com, and Body by Science. Remember, don't like, don't subscribe, don't hit the notification bell. Go out in the real world and do some dope shit. Until next time, this is Doug McGuff signing off.